I'm bound and determined I'm going to get this right. I'm also going to train, right? Because I've done about three videos and deleted them because I don't want to give people anything that's confusing. So I want to tell you how you go about actually taking some of these video trainings that are in here. There's quite a few of them. I don't mean the capture pages, the video training, the second sales page, whatever, and how you actually edit them so they become yours. So the first thing you want to do is come down here to domains and subdomains and go to manage domains. And then if you've already created a domain, you're, you're uh, set to go, but you can create one right here. And then if you've already got one that you have not assigned, which I've got two I have not assigned yet, then you want to go here to assign. Now, what you want to do is click this one, but it doesn't actually take you to the right place. What you want to do now is click here to the uh, to the library of web pages, which gives you this long group of webs, and you got to know what it's called, where you're going. And I have a particular one that Franco just recently did that I wanted to go ahead and copy and actually edit to my own use rather than using his training. Now I can still use his training if I want to, but what I want to do is create my own pages. So I'm going to come down here to, this one is the one he, uh, Freedom Leverage is the name of the one that he's created two pages so far. So I'm going to do that. And so that takes me now to where I can actually add my AWeber unique list, which uh, if you don't do it that way, you cannot do that. And, and another thing I learned just recently is that with AWeber, you don't put the list name in there. You put the ID in there. And the ID is under the list. And I can do another training to show you that. And then you submit this. Now you can actually go to this domain. And it's com not complete yet, though. Now you're going to want to edit this. And it gives you the chance to do that if you go back. And... Um, you can actually have it going to both um, one of these campaigns and you can also be working on it that way. So this so far is just going to be Franco's training. So now I need to go and actually edit it and change this. But you could actually make this into your own training if you wanted to. And that's how you do it. So the next step is going to be for me to go down to my web pages and to this. And now here is the, the one that I created. I'm going to edit. Now this is going to be a new page. I don't want it to be the Freedom Leverage. This is going to be Friday Facebook uh, training coaching number one. So I'm going to update that training. And now that brings me into his actual uh, page the way it was created and so now I want to have a different uh, web page here I actually uploaded it earlier so I'm going to put I mean a new a new picture because this is branded to me so I'm going to find the one I created and you can actually put uh, anything in here you want you can edit or create something new and then of course you're also going to want to change this headline because it's going to be different and this headline is you know it is still my welcome but it's this is not of course um, the same thing so I'm going to say it a little bit different my Friday Facebook master mind list lesson number one and then this is going to be different too my philosophy on why you don't want to be a one company person. Okay, so I've got that in place. And so we're done with that part. So we're going to move to the next thing, which is uh, set the background if you want to have it different from the other one. 
And for me, my tra my uh, what I've always done is kind of some reds, and so I'm going to do something a little lighter or darker than the one I have there. And then I'm going to set the video, and I want it to be in that from another site. This actually gives you the option of using Vimeo. That's the reason why I chose his. He's already got Vimeo in here. And the only thing you have to have is to change this part right here. And I already have a video created. And I went ahead and got my, my uh, list name. And then I put it, because it makes you take the whole thing, I put it in a notepad so that I could just go and grab just this part right here and then I'm coming back over to here you do need to make sure you've copied it though so I didn't copy it so then you come back over here and this is the part you're going to want to change just right here copy and paste in that set this up and then also there's edit the bottom because those links on the bottom are specifically going to Franco, aren't they? So you've got to change those too. And so we want to go, let me make this Linda. And then I already know what my page name is for my presentation. So I can put that in there. Now another web page instead of this. And and I don't care if it goes out to the monster, that's kind of funny. And then this again, this needs to be my my blog, not his. Now, everything's in place. I've created what I want. Now let's see if I've got it. Let's go review it. and something's not connected correctly but you get the idea there is hey there this is Linda Chrome. here is an actual training page created with my links ready to go I just have to make sure it's attached which it didn't get attached for some reason but I'm ready to go and basically what I have to do now is go into domains and subdomains, manage my domains. I need to go and find that link, which is right here, and assign it. And it should be where I can assign it to my own page. Which has already been created have to find it okay so we don't want to go into that leverage page we want it to go to this one right here which is the one I just created and that should create what we want and Let's go see if we did good. Let's click on this link, see where it goes. And it did. Hey there, this is Linda Chroma. So we've completed our process. So uh, this is a lot. Of, I did a lot of things in this little short video. So it's a very good idea if you've only done it once to follow this really slowly by pausing it and just doing that one step until you've got it completed the way I just did it, and then you will have completed what you want.